I'm Alpha Trevat. Here's my five-minute take on the world. Starting the clock for you right now and saying thanks for listening or watching wherever you may be. It is deeply appreciated, as are your thoughts and comments and ideas. Let's get uh, started with the brain structure question. From 1995 to 2005, this city was named the most polite city in America. Ten years in a row. Most polite city in America. Which one are we talking about? That may be an easy one for some of you, but I ask you that question for a reason. By the way, we'll have the answer for that in just a few minutes. Uh, about four and a half, actually. I ask you that because new survey out, 72% of Americans say we have become more uncivil. We're not nice anymore. We're, we're not polite. We don't do nice things. And, you know, I tend to agree. I mean, just look around and see how rude people are. I mean, and I, it goes back to more than just our society. I think we mirror things that we see on TV. Anybody watch this show, Two and a Half Men? I don't. I have never liked the show, have never watched a full episode of it, and there are friends of mine who say it's the funniest show ever. And I don't find people constantly insulting each other to be funny. And there's another show, uh, Everybody Loves Raymond. Uh, I didn't particularly like Raymond because all they did was insult each other. It was one nasty crack after another. Huh? And we are. We are genuinely getting less civil, less polite, and ruder to each other. I'll give you a, a couple of examples in point um, that made national and international news. Lady Gaga, okay, as a PR coup naming her Lady, wasn't it? Because she ain't, as far as from what I've seen. And in a couple of instances over the weekend, she went back to her hometown in New York, and she performed at a concert for the high school, which she graduated from, from which her sister was also graduating. And she wanted to show everybody there how raunchy she could be, I guess, and did kind of a raunchy show for high schoolers. Well, okay. Then she went to a, a Mets ball game, brand new city field, and she got some of the best seats in the house. Now, you know she didn't pay for those seats, but she shows up wearing a Mets jersey. Okay, that's good. And then pretty much underwear, and that's it. And then starts to act like an idiot. So security comes along and says, you know, you're making kind of a scene here. We're going to take you up to one of the private suites. Wow, you act like a fool and you get upgraded to a, a luxury box? How sweet is that? And while there, then she starts acting worse and flipping people off. Happened to be Jerry Seinfeld's private suite, uh, the one he owns. I guess he wasn't there at the time. And I guess the Mets feel like, you know, if you're not there for your suite, they can stick anybody in there they want. And Jerry, to his credit, was upset by it, and I appreciate his, his concern, but come on, here's what he said. Lady Gaga is a jerk. I hate her. Oh, my God. What are you, 12, Jerry? Come on. Be a little bit more of a man than that. You know, say, hey, she acted like a total biatch, and I'll never have her in my suite again, and if the Mets put her there, then I'm yanking my money out of there. You know, that's the kind of thing you should say. Be a man. Man up. Another example of pure incivility, those vuvuzelas. Oh, man. And the United States plays today against Algeria. Should be an interesting game. But, come on, blow on those horns? Really? Do you need to? I mean... It almost causes another uncivil act, because if somebody was blowing that thing at me, I'd say, hey, look, Horatio, down with the horn, or you're going to be wearing three of them up your poop chute back uh, up sideways. I mean, come on. Why blow that thing so you're a fan? Okay, yell, yeah, but blowing that horn? Ay. All right, a couple of huge things going on today. General McChrystal, who is the uh, head of the uh, Allied Command in uh, Afghanistan, looks like he's being called to the principal's office. Said a, few, said a few bad things about the principal and the administration, and um, not too happy about it. So it could be one of those Truman MacArthur kind of things. Loses his job? I don't know. He might. I mean, certainly is precedent for that sort of thing. And in the Gulf of Mexico, it looks like Ken Salazar, the EPA czar, the guy who wants to yeah, rid our country of all oil products, uh, says even though the judge uh, overturned the decision to put a moratorium six months' worth on all exploratory drilling uh, offshore, it, uh, he, he's going to reword the whole thing, reword the order, and hopefully get it passed then. So, I mean, is that the rule here? Uh, you, you do something and you just change the wording and then it's going to be okay? Here's a little tip for you. See, these oil rigs, um, they're leased about a million dollars a day. And it's not just BP, it's other oil companies that have uh, got 33 different leases out there. They're not going to let them sit there at a million dollars a day for six months. Are you nuts? They're going to go down to Brazil where the state-owned oil company is going to drill 13,000 feet down. That's three times deeper than the deep well horizon. So basically what they're doing is trying to shut down our economy uh, because $330 million in jobs will be lost if this happens. Is that can we afford that? Can we do that? 
I don't think it's a very good idea. I don't know. And then, you know, Brazil, they're going to start pumping oil. Well, and there are some friends of Obama who are pretty heavily invested in that, including we in America. We actually gave them $2 billion. A company that made $15 billion last year, we're giving them $2 billion? Hmm. Makes you want to get kind of uncivil, doesn't it? All right, the plight of city in America, you probably know. Charleston, South Carolina. Well, yes, my dear, certainly was for 10 years in a row after that. Probably still ranked in the top two or three. Worldwide, you know the most polite city? New York. Yeah, hear that Lady Gaga? Straighten up. USA, Algeria. USA, USA, USA.